good morning. So I have spent the morning filming a couple of YouTube videos, which I need to edit. Well, at least one of them I need to edit today and upload. And now I need to have breakfast slash lunch. And I am trying to decide whether I want cereal or croissants. Maybe I'll go downstairs and get inspired. I also have a secret Santa for someone at work, but I need to give it to them. And I'm not working this next week, supposedly. But my housemate is heading in that direction, so maybe I'll ask him to drop it off. But I need to write a letter, so I might do that first and bring it downstairs and just ask him if I see him. I'll do that first and then I'll go downstairs and decide. Right. Okay. Bye. Okay, so I finished writing the card and I'm gonna bring it downstairs and ask my housemate if he can take it with him. I'm gonna take this off. I don't know how much I'm gonna film downstairs because as always, he's downstairs and I don't wanna film in front of him. And I still haven't decided on my breakfast, but we'll see. Okay, why didn't I just stand here? Now I can see actually. I'll see you guys shortly, I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, so I've just spent about three hours singing and now I am exhausted. So I'm just gonna edit a YouTube video. It's an eight minute long video, but hopefully it'll cut down to about three. And then I think I'm gonna go downstairs and eat something because I haven't had anything since breakfast, which was at like two o'clock. But my housemate has gone to work. He did drop off the secret Santa and he said that the person who received it was very happy with it. So I'm delighted. And he said that he's bringing home my secret Santa because whoever had me must have dropped it off as well today and they gave it to him. So I'm excited to see what that is. And that's all for now. I will check back in once I'm done editing this video and see you, I guess. Okay, I finished editing the video. It's three and a half minutes long. It's just saving now. I forgot to mention before though that I was singing, I cleaned my room because I realized I have a lot of stuff that's just out and it's been really annoying me. And I realized I have two suitcases that are empty and I can put them in there. So I did that. I still have a pile of boxes and I'm gonna see if I can bring them downstairs because they are annoying me a bit. And I still want to hoover my room because I haven't done that. But otherwise I'm very pleased. Now I'm gonna eat the rest of my white chocolate because I'm not actually really in the mood for it, but I want to finish it. And I think I'll be in the mood for it once I take a bite, which is terrible of me because I should just not eat chocolate if I'm not in the mood for it. I shouldn't eat chocolate at all. Well, not at all, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat the chocolate. Hello, I am very, very cold and I have finally submitted to wearing a vest underneath. And I've decided for tonight I'm gonna make potatoes. I think I'm gonna go for roast potatoes. And the reason why is because I bought these potatoes like two weeks ago and they've just been sat here for ages. I did use some of them, but I haven't used all of them and I keep wanting to use all of them. Also, I'm planning on going shopping tomorrow. So if I finish them and then buy more, that's fine. But I think that's what I'm gonna do. My hands are so cold. I've just switched the oven on. Also, I decided I wanted an oven meal so that it would at least somewhat heat up this area. These are the potatoes I have left. So I think there's about five big ones in there, which is a lot for one meal, but I think I'm just gonna do it. And you know what? I've just been inspired by the picture on the front and I'm gonna try and make wedges. Knowing myself, this will go terribly, but hey, we can try. Right, so let me see if I can put you guys elsewhere because I am hunched over for this and I'd rather not be hunched over. I'll see you guys soon. I'm floating. I'd appreciate you're going even more than yourself so that you don't know where to put Paul remember playing another man I'm gonna marry but I'm not because I wouldn't ruin anyone as wonderful as you so I thank you all for the gifts and the flowers thank you all now it's back to the town no it's not Paul but I'm not getting married today I've just tied up my hair this is what it looks like at the moment it's way too much the slices are completely uneven don't really know what I'm doing I'm just gonna pour some oil some spices and stuff over it let's see what happens That's what they look like. They are absolutely covered in garlic and paprika. A bit of salt and a tiny, tiny bit of pepper. And I think that's all I put on there. So I'm gonna pop that in the oven. It's set to 200 degrees. I'm gonna, I think, leave it for half an hour and then check on them. Or maybe that's too long. Maybe I'll leave it for 20 minutes and I'll keep you guys posted. Yay. Okay. See you soon. Okay, so it's been about an hour since I've put the potatoes in. Every 20 minutes I've checked it and stirred it around a bit. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now. gonna give it another mix. I hate using foil. I way prefer baking paper and oh there's a good reason for that. But it smells very nice and garlicky so that's positive. Seriously not a big fan of the foil. It's gonna be more like I don't know potato mash anyway. 
Back it goes. And we'll set another 20 minute timer. Yay! I don't know how long it's been, but the timer just went off again. I've had a couple of timers go off in the meantime. And I think, yeah, those are pretty much ready. I would like them to stay a bit longer, but some of it's already a bit burnt. So I don't really want to let it burn anymore. That's what it looks like. I'm excited to eat it. And yes, if you hear Eurovision in the background, that's because I've been listening to Eurovision. I don't know how to go about this. Why did I do that? The problem with foil is that it's completely stuck. Please no one judge. Although if you do, that's absolutely within reason. One day, I'll be well equipped to cook well. Ow. I'm practically peeling the foil off. So they're not really potato wedges, they're just potatoes, but I'll take it. It's so oily. I'm literally just peeling the foil off the potatoes. I'm simultaneously peeling the potato off the foil. You know what, this time last year I was making such lovely cooking videos and I was actually making proper food. Now I'm attempting to make roast potatoes and failing. That's what it looks like. It actually doesn't look terrible, but it could also look better. Yummy. Okay, so I finished the potatoes a little while ago, made myself a tea. The potatoes were thoroughly disappointing and just, oh, it's the same thing that happens every time I cook. I spend time on it, I get my hopes up because I think it might actually be good for once and then it's not. And then for dessert, I had two shortbread because one of my secret Santas got me a box of shortbread, which is really good. But I'm wanting something chocolatey and I realized I want chocolate biscuits. I don't really want plain chocolate. So I've just been up to my room and I've grabbed three things down. First of all, this thing of dairy milk that I got in my secret Santa box, my singular Twix which I still have no idea where it came from and I do love it but at the same time I don't really want to waste it yet and lastly and this is a risky move the Tim Tams because I told myself I have to have it by the 5th of January which is only two weeks away maybe I'll have one and I'll see if I want another one yeah that's what I'll do mmm yummy okay here goes it's still very good but also nowhere near as good as if I'd like eaten it when I got it. Just because the biscuits gone really soft, but my goodness, it's still very good. So that was really good. And I'm not gonna have the second one, but I am gonna open this box and just have one of the plain dairy milks. And then hopefully after that, my tea will be ready, as in to drink. And then I'm gonna stop eating chocolate. I might even grab some chewing gum just to stop me from eating, but that's where we're at in the night. Oh, also I've just said I was gonna work a 10 hour shift tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to bed early enough tonight and I'm not gonna film much tomorrow probably. The most annoying thing about that is that my housemate's also working like an eight hour shift tomorrow. So I would have had time to film. And I think for the rest of the week is off, but so be it. Anyway, I'm gonna eat the chocolate, gonna drink the tea, and then probably gonna go to bed, or say that I'm gonna go to bed anyway. Okay, bye.